Hi guys, it's Lynn here. I hope you're having an amazing day. Now today guys, I've got something rather unusual and certainly wacky and bizarre to show you and talk to you about today. Now, this might not look the most aesthetically pleasing here. This is a collection of our serious cacti, mostly pilocerius. And they're actually overwintering here in our kitchen. And um, the reason why they're actually standing here against the wall in our kitchen is because we haven't really got anywhere to actually overwinter them because the polytunnel is um, kept at a minimum of five degrees Celsius, which is about 41 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, because these pilocerius uh, cacti need to be kept at a minimum of about 50 degrees Fahrenheit, 10 Celsius. And to heat our polytunnel at that temperature would just be too costly for us. So we've decided to bring these inside the house. Uh, previous to moving here, we had a conservatory where we used to have everything in, we used to have lots of light. So we have no really option to, to have them here. So the most important thing when it comes to overwintering is to make sure that they're kept dry and as much light as possible. And these are actually a wet, probably about a metre or two, probably a metre and a half away from a very sunny south facing window here. As you can see, there's our polytunnel there and get plenty of sunshine comes across onto this back wall and onto these plants. But obviously if these were kept here permanently, they'd grow retaliated and stretched out because they need much more full intense sunshine. But they're overwintering here only. And um, that's the good news. These plants are normally outside during the summer. From the spring and summer, they're in our yard and they get plenty of um, sunshine from then. And then they're just overwintering here. But anyway, the reason why I have to explain all this is because they are normally resting at this time of year. And Pyloceros, this particular cactus here, have to have bright, intense sunshine, direct sunshine, and plenty of fresh air to normally flower. This flowers for me every year, usually when we have it outside, and previous to that we used to have it in the conservatory, it used to flower, always during the spring and summer. But what is remarkable, guys, as I say, it's winter now, and um, the only sun it gets is coming across from the window here, over a metre and a half away. And I always say when it comes to growing cacti, don't keep them any further than a metre away from a south facing window or, or east or, or any window that gets sun. Further away than that, they'll tend to grow stretched out, unless you're growing the epiphytes. <laughs> but what is remarkable is this is actually, despite being that far away from the window, Despite the fact it should be overwintering now, it's actually coming into bud. And what is even more remarkable is it's actually very hard to get Pylocerius to flower in cultivation, even in a greenhouse, even in a sunny, sunny garden um, for the summer. But this is what is remarkable. This is definitely a flower bud, guys. And I'm not going to press too hard because I don't want to cause any damage. But I don't know whether you can see that. It's actually a deep plum colour underneath the hair. And you might say, well, what are these? This, this is actually part of like a, they form a woolly cephalium when they're mature. And the flowers emerge from here. And these are all soft. Um, just feels very much like wool, soft but soft wool. And um, you know when they're forming a flower, a flower bud because it forms a little very tight knit of, of wool and it's firm and it will have like a, a deep plummy purple colour. I don't know whether you can see there. But anyway, what I wanted to say is that is actually a flower bud that has just appeared within the past couple of days. And we've had a spell of very sunny weather here coming right across. This gets the sun pretty much all day here. And bear in mind, it is winter, so the days are short. And um, obviously, but it's way too far away from the window at this time of year to really form flower buds. So I just wanted to share that because it's really remarkable. I don't know whether this bud is going to go into flower long term or it's going to drop off or what, I really don't know. But I wanted to make that video because it's hard to get Pylocerius to flower in cultivation anyway. And especially when it's not outside or in a, or in a greenhouse or conservative, this is actually indoors in our kitchen. As I say, that's far away from the window there, which is, as you can see, it's 
pretty amazing so i don't know how this is going to go but stay tuned guys i'm going to do an update on it and um, let you know if it flowers when it flowers and also when it gets a little bit bigger and if you want to see what this wacky plant looks like when it is in flower links up above to a video that i have made on this amazing beautiful flower um it is quite wacky this we usually have um in my greenhouse when i had the greenhouse at my old house and that used to flower every year out there the big huge big smelly flower they smell a little bit like stapelia flowers they have that smell of sort of smelly socks or rotting fish smell but the flower itself is very beautiful and sort of unusual so do check out what the flower looks like so if this flower is here this far away from a window in winter i will be absolutely amazed because they, they need, you know, the usually summer intense sun directly on them, which they'd normally have if this was outside in the yard during the summer. And it did flower this year, it flowered in the middle of summer for us, but of course it was outside, get, enjoying the sunshine in the garden. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens, but I just don't know whether you can really see there, but um, it's different to all this, other. this is very soft, that's very firm, and you can see a bit of a bit of the purpleness, I'm not quite sure how the camera's picking that up. But stay tuned guys, and I'm going to do an update on it so guys thanks so much for watching if you want to know a bit more about how to grow cacti and succulents and you're new to this um, amazing amazing passion then do check out my um, website desertplantsofavalon.com um, still in the early stages i have lots more to do on there so um, do keep checking for regular updates and um, thanks so much guys until then send you loads of love and heaps of happiness as always from across the emerald isle and until the next video, bye, bye, look at nice big hairy one.